Hello everybody, we are back with part three of our thread up unboxing, so let's get right into it. And welcome back. If this is your first video, I'm Charles. I run a Poshmark closet on Poshmark, of course. Uh, along with my wife, Angelique. Um, and this, if this is your first video, you've missed out on the first two parts of this 50 item thread up unboxing. Um, so I think I saved the best for last. I don't know. I don't remember what order I put everything in. I just kind of shot it and then threw it into some boxes to make some haul videos on it. So um, let's see. Let's see how I. Let's see if I save the best for last. Okay, up first we have a starting off really nice with a J. Crew cami. This is a size zero or size O, um, and it's a little cami with uh, some colorful flowers on it, and it's got that narrow. You know, the straps go in really narrow, so I'm not sure if that makes it a something else, but I believe if it has the skinny little straps, it's a cami. So I'm just going to call it a cami. Okay, up next we have a Ann Taylor Petite, and this is a skirt. Um, it has a zipper and a hook on the side so it'll if one fails you have a backup system for keeping it up um, and I don't think it's showing up on camera very well oh, there it is yeah it's not it when I hold it back here it looks black but when I actually get it in the light you can see that it does have um, some faint blue um, faint blue plaid um, pattern on it. So, very nice. I think I really nice, uh, really nice cat, really nice business wear, casual wear, really nice business wear for the spring um, when it gets hot in the office. Okay, up next we have a gap. This is a cozy sweater. Um, it's got a Kind of a, nope, just a pink lining where the buttons go. The ins, the inside is just like the outside. Uh, but buttons all the way, yep, buttons go all the way to the bottom. Um, and that's, that's nice. Um, not sure if it'll do well in the spring, but I'm sure it'll it'll sell eventually and who knows just like just like it's always warm somewhere in the winter it's always cold somewhere in the spring okay moving right along we have a Lou LaRoe I believe that is how you pronounce it Lou, Lou LaRoe I do not know I actually do know it's Lularoe. Um, I just my wife sometimes pronounces it differently as a joke. Uh, anyway, this is a small and it's kind of a I'm gonna call it a football jersey dress because it has the stripes on the arms, some kind of a little bit of a sporty material, but I'm guessing that is supposed to be kind of a fun nighttime dress. I don't know, very soft material, so I would I'd say that's definitely more of a nightgown uh, or maybe a uh, hmm. I didn't think Lularoe was nightgowns. I don't know. Um, anyway, moving right along, we have oh, I remember shooting this one. This is the I believe this is a mystery. Um, if I can 
find the other. Yep, this is a mystery top because it does not have a tag. And I thought I could find something on the care tag, but the care tag is also... Oh no. No, this was not it. <laughs> this is a Jane Ashley. <laughs> I know there was one piece, it's probably in here later, or maybe I already shot it in one of the other boxes, but this is a Jane Ashley top. They just don't have the tag by the neck. Instead, they have it at the bottom where the care tag is, uh, and it's not really showing up, but there's a kind of a flower lace at the top and around the arms, and then it is just plain black. Uh, oh no, I guess there's some, uh, there's some uh, more lace patterns at the bottom. Mostly black, but with some lacy flowers. Okay, moving right along, we have a Kato small top. And show the tag there. There we go. And this piece is um, it's pretty, see, it's very thin, um, very much see-through. Um, well, that's not really showing up on my camera. So take my word for it, I can see right through this. Um, if I could see them, if I could see the, <laughs> if I could see, if I can see the care tag, I will tell you it is 100% polyester, so that really doesn't tell me anything. But being that it is so light and thin, definitely spring wear. Okay, my stack's getting too tall. Pretty soon it's going to be coming up on the camera and I'm going to have to shoot around it. Okay, up next we have a Jimmy Bravo. NYC, a small, and this is, yeah, this is a men's shirt, I believe. Um, yep, because the buttons are, buttons are on the right, so that makes it a men's shirt. Um, it's a small blue with a plaid, uh, and Jimmy Bravo. I'm not familiar with Jimmy Bravo. I do remember Johnny Bravo. Um, very, very funny cartoon I watched growing up. It's about a guy who's very, very bad with the ladies, despite his muscles and mm, hair. Okay. Um, up next, we have a Sanctuary. That was a really bad description of Johnny Bravo. I can describe stuff from my childhood badly all day. Um, so this is Sanctuary. Um, I don't think that's... That tag is... I think that's a thread up tag. Uh, it doesn't say thread up on it, but I don't think this is new with tags. Um, but it is a long sleeve shirt with the black and white stripes on the front and then, oh, and black and white stripes on the back. It's just the sleeves that are plain white and um, down, the, uh, down the sides. All right. Start a new pile over there. Okay, up next we have a Cynthia, Cynthia Rally. Uh, this is a large, it is a red and black sweatshirt and that pattern, I know it's not exactly like it, but the zigzagging vertically or zigzagging horizontally, that kind of reminds me of Charlie Brown. And that is probably a, that is probably just what that's probably just what every every woman wants to hear when they buy a sweater. That it looks like Charlie Brown. Although Charlie Brown's yellow and black, so I'm probably just I'm probably just going insane. Wouldn't it be the first time? 
Okay, moving right along. I think I put the most clothes in this box, so this video is probably going to be a little bit longer than the other two. Um, we have a dress. This is a Juicy Contour. Okay, and it is a petite, and it is a very... It, it really confused me when I was putting this on the mannequin because it only has one one armhole, so it it's asymmetrical. Um, off the shoulder, I guess, would be the proper term. Um, but at first, I thought it was just a strapless. Put it on; it kind of looked weird. Then I thought, you know, then I thought, oh, well, it does have armholes. Put it on. Kind of find the one over here. It was, it was okay. It was a big. Oh, it was it was quite the show watching me try to figure this out, so that I could shoot it. But the pictures came out good, so it was worth it in the end. All right, moving right along, we have this T-shirt from Doe. This is a size one. And what does it say on the front? It says, no thank you, in neon lights. 65% um, polyester, 35% rayon, no neck tag. So Michael Jordan and Jackie Chan would like that. And, and it's a nice t-shirt. Um, possibly something that could go with some of that some of that workout wear. It is still close to the beginning of the year, so if anyone's trying to do their New Year's resolution still, um, they, can, uh, they can get that shirt and let everyone know what they think when they go to the gym. Okay, up next I have another Row. If that is showing up, yes it is. Okay, and this has this has just the thread up tag, so it is not new of tags. Um, but this says style tip number 14. Dress always like chic. Just add tights and a blazer, and you are ready to go. Hmm. I will keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, this is, I guess it's a shawl. Uh, pink flower shawl. That's kind of nice. Uh, almost kind of looks like a a Aloha shirt, but um, definitely not the just the Aloha pattern, not the Aloha style. Okay, moving right along. What am I doing on time here? I might have to make this a four-parter. Okay, up next, this is an Old Navy. It is a small, it is a button down, a green and light brown top. I guess it's kind of like um, mint. Kind of like a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Very, very bad ice cream. I really don't like it. I'm a cookies and cream guy. Okay. Up next we have a Vinza. This is a This was almost new of tags. We got the, uh, we just lost the tag. Uh, this is a size 14, 16. Um, I'm assuming that's because it's got some stretch in it. It does, and it's a little jersey, um, kind of a jersey. I guess this is, I think this is sleepwear. Uh, but it's a nice jersey, number 56. Um, 56 in a blue and gray, I'm not sure who that is, or if it's anybody, um, might be the year that the 
company was founded. Who knows? Slap numbers on anything and you'll hit someone. All right. Up next we have a Converse One Star. Converse? Hmm. I thought they were... I thought they were just shoes. Apparently I am mistaken because this is a... definitely not a shoe. This is a dress. About... This is a dress green. I believe these buttons... No, the buttons are real buttons. Uh, buttons down in the front to the waist. Um, and the drawstrings are also real. So, an adjustable small <laughs> Converse dress. Okay, we have about one, two, three, four, five items left, so we can get through this. Up next we have an Andy way and A and D E A W Y and a U. Hmm. Well, I could be reading those out of order. A new. It's a new day. <laughs> I just. Okay, uh, this is why I don't do crossword puzzles, because I cannot read vertically. This is an extra small button down shirt, a little bit textured. Um, is that showing up on the camera? Yeah, it is kind of showing up on the camera. Uh, so you can see that texturing. Um, that's a nice, nice piece. Very soft, too. Very soft. Uh, so that should be very comfortable. Okay, up next we have a Lovemakers, and this is a nice long-sleeved top with, uh, with kind of like a shoelace style string in the front to keep the to tie it up. Um, Very nice piece, uh, interesting name, and unfortunately long sleeve, but it's always cold somewhere. Okay, moving right along, we have a pair of Kim Rogers. Kim Rogers. Well, not a pair, this is a shirt. I thought these were pants. Huh. I think I had a pair of pants that had similar pattern in another one of my hauls. Uh, anyway, these are a 1X um, Kim Rogers shirt. Short sleeve. Um, kind of a not really a tie-dye pattern. I um, don't know what you would call that pattern, but I will just move right along. We have another textured shirt. This is a the perfect shirt. This is a seersuckered. Oh, that is. That is not coming into focus. Oh. Uh, this is a, like I said, this is another textured button, button up, uh, because the buttons do not. Does it button? to the collar as a button. <laughs> there we go. Um, a little bit more texture. Uh, not as soft as the last one, but still still a nice still a nice shirt. Okay, and I just hit my mic. Um, check, check. Okay. Last piece is a Kinar shirt. Okay. This gray long sleeved, I guess long sleeved tee, um, single pocket in the front, and that is all. 
And that brings us to the end of the Thread Up box. Now, if you didn't see the last two videos, this was 50 pieces for $110. Um, so, overall, I think, um, overall, I think we're going to make our money back. Um, and then some. Uh, there's, I mean, it's, there, there's a lot of good pieces. Um, a few good pieces just in this, this last, uh, haul. Um, some of those, um, some of those skirts, um, nice, uh, those shirts should do well. Um, a lot of good stuff for spring. Um, I did see a lot of lighter stuff, a lot of short sleeve stuff. Um, that's going to do really well in spring. And then, um, yeah, I really wasn't super familiar with a whole lot of the brands in here, uh, but there were two pieces of Lou LaRoe, which I know used to do well. I think the market's a little bit saturated on that, so I'm not sure how well that will do. Um, but we'll see. I don't think we've had a lot of Lou LaRoe, so we'll see how it does for us. Um, anyway, if you liked this video, I keep looking at my huge pile. I have, hmm, it's distracting. Uh, it's kind of cramping me. Uh, you can't see it with the camera. Um, anyway, if you liked this video, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All that stuff, it's below. Links to our closet, also below. Links to our email, again, below. So you can send any comments or questions there. Um, until next time. I have been Charles, and I'll see you next time. Until next time, I'll see you next time. Yeah, that's a really, really weird way to sign off there. Um, anyway, um, check out this, uh, check out this uh, playlist for more videos. Bye.